Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll do another entry here based on your past suggestions. This one has to do with a suggestion that was about a year and a half or so ago. So yes, I am indeed going back to some of those past suggestions. And I picked this one because it has to do with a theme that I love talking about. And those are cursed objects or cursed items. Those of you that have been following my channel for a while know how much I love talking about them. Just the idea that something immaterial, always just either sitting in the corner of your room or sitting somewhere, that it's still somehow alive like it's still doing something when it comes to plotting your demise or plotting something that would be more sinister so that notion just absolutely fascinates me but yes this particular object is one that also definitely falls under that category it's been around for a long time several centuries in fact although the current whereabouts of it seem to remain unknown and it has to do with a vase it's called the Bassano vase otherwise known as the curse of the Bassano vase so let's go ahead and we'll talk about all that information here for you so what is the Bassano vase well again it's a purportedly cursed object that's been around for several centuries in fact the time period the most commonly cited one that it was created if you can believe it is 15th century hundreds of years back and it's a vase you're looking at it here this seems to be the only known picture of it it's a vase that's made from carved silver so probably very beautiful to look at uh, if, if you have something that large completely made of silver especially if let's say if it's polished silver then it would definitely stand out and the notion like its origins and where it came from it's still a little bit of a mysterious thing but the most commonly cited theory there is that it was created specifically as a gift a wedding gift for an Italian bride and it had to do with a location there in Napoli so this bride was getting married there someone created this vase for her and on that wedding night that very specific wedding night I guess after the ceremony everything was finished and the bride and groom were going to be together that night that's when they came across the bride it, it sounded like she was by herself at that point and when they came across her they found her dead like lying on the floor I'm sorry not dead but dying right at her last moments lying on the floor holding that vase almost as if she was clutching it to her body and the last words purportedly that she stated right before she died she said that she will always return and seek her vengeance and then that's it she passed away so so that's the first known instance of this vase essentially creating its death its reported death its curse if anyone comes across it after that time period um, the vase was kept probably as a remembrance of the bride no doubt and it was handed down from generation to generation, family member to family member. But there was a new theme that arose. The death of that bride just didn't stop there. Instead, every single time that vase, this uh, Bassano vase, was passed along to a new family member, there was always someone dying within a short time period. In fact, it seems to have been around three months. That's the one, that's the time period that seems to be the most common thing. Always under mysterious circumstances, but still the same result. Someone dying within uh, up to a three-month time period period the family became aware of this no doubt after so many times of this happening so they decided wisely that they were going to box this thing hide it away put it in a secret location whatever the case may be almost like the divot box the one that I've another video that I've talked about before in the past and they were going to do it so that way no one else would come across this thing Cut to about 1900, I'm sorry, 1988 to be exact. I don't know how this happened. The information seems to be uh, uh, still a little brief with regards to this. But ever since that vase was hidden somewhere, buried somewhere, buried by a priest no less, cut to several hundred years later, 1988, someone came across it. So either someone discovered it, maybe someone was building a land, who knows, but someone came across it. And then when they uh, looked inside, there was a message in the vase. So it was a message that says, and this is a direct quote, beware, this vase brings death. And that was it. Sure enough, 
with regards to whoever found it, they quickly sold it off on an, on an auction. I guess trying to capitalize with regards to the beauty of this face. It sold for a pretty good amount. But then the curse started its path yet again. The local buyer of the of the of the um base was a pharmacist of some sort. He died within three months. His family sold it to a surgeon. This surgeon died within two months. Uh, the vase was sold this time to an archaeologist. They died three months later as well. That family of the archaeologist decided to sell it. But by then, they were unable to find anybody to buy it because, yet again, the curse had taken over with regards to speculation. Everybody was aware of it. They were not going to have anything done with it. I think eventually they did find someone, but they had to sell it at a huge loss. I don't know how, if that person was aware of the reputation of this thing, but still, they purchased it. In that case, though, um, the family of that person, apparently, they came on to that notion that this thing was cursed like they must have heard it from everyone else but this this guy who was completely oblivious to it still didn't know they took it upon themselves to take that vase and toss it out a window one of the family members did and when that happened the curse almost acted again because this vase imagine it being heavy as large as it is made out of silver it almost hit a policeman right on the head pure happen chance what kind of coincidence is that you know what i mean this thing falling from the roof or falling from wherever they was thrown almost hit the policeman the policeman in turn of course thought that it was something purposeful so the idea or the legend that goes with that is that they found out who threw the vase and then tried to give it back of course after citing a ticket for what they attempted to do but the owner the person that threw that vase presumably someone within that family decided no we're not taking this back i'd rather be arrested than have this vase back in my possession give me the ticket arrest me otherwise i'm not taking this thing back and then finally the last known i guess uh, time period of this Pasano vase so the police finding that no one was willing to take this even museums if you can believe that museums were offered this vase what a collection to have something that's several hundred years old presumably very beautiful to look at all of them though refusing to take it because of its known curse well at that point then the police presumably took this thing buried it somewhere at an undisclosed location and it has never been seen since then. There's even the idea that to protect its curse, like to make sure that none of it is able to emanate from the ground itself, that it was buried in some kind of lead coffin and buried within a cemetery so not just any place in terms of like any ground let's say in the future that it could accidentally be found again i.e like i was telling a couple minutes back or maybe new land development happens someone comes, comes across it because of it no in this case the police were very strategic about it they put it in a lead coffin and then they put it within a cemetery so that way nobody would have any right any correct right like any legal right to be digging around there and then that way this thing stays hidden forever so that's it that's all the information tied to the basano vase and its purported curse and its current location lots of mystery still surrounding it why it was created i know it was created for the for the wedding but who would do something like this and then make a curse surrounding it like why was it created in such a dastardly manner i guess you could say and then finally, with regards to its current whereabouts, still a lot of mystery associated with it. To me, the most interesting thing is why all these, after all those centuries, 1988, who found it? Like, why did it pop up all of a sudden? It almost seems like magic. The idea that this thing could have been buried by that priest somewhere and then that's uh, cut to a couple centuries later and then it pops up somewhere else to be uh, within someone's grasp and then passed along between several people so very very mysterious stuff there if anyone has any more information about this Pisano vase that would be really good to hear as well post those comments below I always love reading them so alright everybody thanks again as always take care bye